In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to port packs from Minecraft Java Edition to Bedrock Edition. Last time I made a video about it, many of you guys complained that there are several glitches like GUI doesn't get ported or the armor doesn't show up. Well, don't worry about it because in this video, I'll show you how to port every single thing from the Java pack. If this video helps, then consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Without further ado, let's go. Alright, so what you want to do first is join this Discord server. It's called a swim code. There will be two invite links in the description. One will be the vanity link and the other one will be the permanent link. Both lead to the same server so don't worry about it. After you join the discord server, make sure to scroll down a little bit till you see the pack border section. After you see the pack border section, click on download and you'll see something like this. This is a github link. You can visit the github page if you want. But it's not really necessary so yeah we'll just let that pass for now. This thing is the important part. What you have to do is click on it and it will auto start the downloading in your computer and yeah please note the fact that your browser might say this is a virus or something don't worry about it just click on keep anyway and download it properly well yeah after you downloaded it you'll see something like this now right click on it and simply just extract it well after you extracted it you'll see a folder click on double click on the folder and you'll see three things the swim pack border.exe, the readme.txt, and the assets folder. So, reading this thing is actually kind of necessary because it tells you what to do. But if you're watching this video, you don't really have to read it because I'm gonna tell you what to do. Alright, so if this is your first time running the program, there's a very high chance that you'll say the Java runtime environment is missing. So, don't worry, just click on OK and download the thing. So, what you have to do is double click on it and your windows will say that it's a virus or something so just don't worry about it. Click on more info and run anyway. So yeah, you'll see something like this. Now, you okay, so close this at first and copy this folder like uh, press Control plus C on your keyboard. After this, press Windows plus R on your keyboard and go to app data and then click on roaming and you'll see a folder called swim services go there and simply paste it control plus v and you your folder should look like this now that you have your folder looking like this what you have to do is like simply uh close it and go back to the old folder where the swim pack folder is now what you have to do is now uh is double click on it and click on this thing but yeah before that i'll show you the settings so the settings is basically the ported pack save location so this thing is basically where the pack the texture pack will be saved and porter sky save location is basically where the skies will be saved in case if you want to port just the sky of a pack not the whole pack so yeah that's what it does if you want to change the location then just click on it and then go to the folder where you want to change it to but for now i'll just keep it like this and after you have changed it make sure to click on apply yeah and then it will say saved and you can simply close it so yeah what you have to do now is uh, get a java pack like I have a java pack right over here I'll get it on my desktop so that it's easier for you to understand and make sure that you extract it After it's done extracting, just simply close this and you can delete the zip file if you want. You'll see a folder. Uh, this is basically the pack but in a folder, not in a zip. So yeah, what you do is click on this thing that says select pack, uh, select pack to port and click on the folder that you want to port and click on open. It will say currently porting pack and this will give like an output when it's done porting the pack. Now after a while, if your pack has been successfully ported, then it will say that successfully ported pack. Now that it's done, you can close this thing and you can delete these two if you want. Because it's not really necessary in any ways after you have gotten this thing. Now, now that you have the .mc pack, double click on it and your Minecraft will open. And as you can see, the pack is being successfully imported to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Just simply go to your global resources, my packs, and you'll see this. The pack is ported with SwimFan72's auto port. 
simply enable it and close it and as you can see the p pack has been successfully ported to bedrock edition i'll just sh i'll just show you guys a quick like review on the pack so that you guys believe me that this is real and it's not a scam or a virus or anything now i'm in the world as you guys can see the pack has been successfully ported let me show you guys so these are the swords like here's the sword yeah and this is the bow over here yeah everything is completely fine now i am on the latest version i'm pretty sure this works for 1.16 too just in case if you're playing at 1.16 this works for 1.16 too so you're good to go but yeah that's pretty much the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then consider liking and subscribing to my channel and yeah make sure to check out swimfan72's channel because he's the one who created this thing if it wasn't for him this wouldn't have been possible well yeah i hope this helps you guys if you did if it did then yeah as i said before like and subscribe for now peace out boys and girls